pleasure to be here. It's an honor as well. I mean, uh, as a chef, uh, um, to be invited to this, it's, uh, it's amazing. Um, I started. Um, Although I consider myself a chef, uh, or I'm recognized as a chef, I think I'm also a bit of a, um, um, a traveler and a searcher. I think uh, my, my travels have, have begun in Portugal. I mean, I grew up in Portugal. Um, uh, my passion for food was always, uh, uh, was always there since I was very young. But only at the age of 19, I was able to realize that I could actually uh, pursue this path and actually become a chef. Um, um, being a chef at the time in Portugal was considered, uh, you know, it wasn't necessarily the, the most glamorous uh, position. And I think um, I wanted to do something as a chef that was quite different. So I wanted to showcase my vision, uh, have a, a bit of a chance to, to propose my, uh, uh, my ideas, uh, um, you know, question certain things that we, that we take for granted. For instance, like what is a restaurant? Um, you know, uh, what is the format of a restaurant? Um, so throughout my, my life, I mean, uh, in my career, I've, I've always sort of um, challenged that. Um, it's been with starting uh, my, I guess my, my first, my first uh, push was um, not related to, uh, to food, but also uh, related to music, which is my other passion, which then uh, led to um, give me the energy to start. Um, when I was 16, in Portugal still, I decided to um, um, open a studio and a record label in my garage. Um, something a bit strange. I mean, uh, um, you know, I was I was in love with music, and I wanted to showcase um, uh, young talent from from around Portugal uh, to do. Uh, people were doing their own thing, um, slightly disruptive to the norm. Um, after that, I mean, I, I moved to uh, um, the U.S. and I studied the U.S. Um, I uh, I was a big uh, big fan of Jacques Cousteau, and I decided. To, uh, my way out of Portugal was to go into marine biology um, and try to go to Miami and study marine biology and become the next Jacques Cousteau. Um, I think at that point I realized, oh, well, it's a bit of a, uh, it's, it's not possible. Uh, it was fun. It was, um, it was amazing, an amazing experience at the, the beginning. But um, it also, um, being in the US, it gave me the choice to see other, uh, and studying there, gave me the choice to see other, other paths that I could take. And um, while I was passionate for food from the beginning, I never thought, as I said before, that it could be possible for me to actually pursue my career as a chef. Um, I saw this opportunity. Uh, and then from that point on, I decided to travel and, and, uh, and um, to, to, to see the world as a chef, to, to, to pick up my bag and go and, and work in different places. Uh, I worked in Mission Star restaurants um, uh, you know, in New York City, uh, you know, like a very, very famous place in San Francisco. I mean, I worked in hippie communes in uh, Santa Fe. Um, you know, uh, restaurants, I mean, I went from, from, uh, from uh, one of the most famous restaurants around the world um, into a place that uh, was run by hippies, and, which is, you know, amazing, um, where, you know, there was really no law. I mean, it was just, the, I was a chef, I was the KP, I was the, the, the server, and I was running my own ship. Um, um, so, so all these, you know, uh, these experiences have, have, uh, have molded me into, into, I guess, the person that I am now, uh, and gave me also the energy to start thinking outside the box, and also, um, starting projects like The Loft uh, or like Bacchus. I mean, uh, um, my first restaurant in London. When I first moved to London, I struggled a bit to get a job. I mean, I, I'd worked in, uh, I'd done stages at El Bulli. I mean, I worked in New York. I worked in a lot of different places. And um, at the time, I wasn't, um, no, one, no, one, no one believed that, you know, I, I could be a head chef of a restaurant. So, because my, my CV wasn't good enough for London. Um, so, um, I, I, I got a job with, you know, with someone, John George, someone, someone I worked for in, in New York. I opened something here, and then when I started um, um, feeling comfortable, and then uh, having a bit of a bit of um, you know more backing, um, I was then approached by two uh, different projects, uh, and I think this is another turning point in my career. Um, I was I was given the option between a restaurant in Trafalgar Square, you know, with a very famous restaurateur in, in, in London, to open a, a pretty posh place. I mean, it was, it was quite um, you know a big name. There's going to be a lot of media behind it, a lot of attention on it. And, and uh, um, a uh, pub in the, in the East End, like a, a rundown gangster pub in the East End, uh, uh, famous for the Craze Brothers. Um, um, so um, I actually chose uh, <laughs> the pub. <laughs> I thought it was a little more interesting. Um, it gave me the chance to, I've realized at that time, that uh, it gave me the chance to showcase my vision. It was, it was, it was um, a project that, um, where I could do, uh, do my own food, do my own concept. Uh, uh, this concept in Trafalgar Square was somebody, somebody else's concept. I was just a chef. I was going to be working, uh, and, and you know, the face of the, play, the, the project, but it's somebody else's project. This is my project, uh, and I think this has given me um, uh, even more confidence 
and uh, while Bacchus was, was a very strange uh, restaurant because, bef first of all, it was like one of the most dangerous streets in, in, in East London at the time. Um, it was uh, completely run down. It also um, gave, us, uh, gave me the energy to create, um, for instance, projects like The Loft, where um, as it questions, uh, it questions what is a restaurant, what, 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 do, we, what do we perceive as, as a place uh, to dine. And, 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 the, and um, for me, I wanted to bring my guests into my home. I always thought, like as a chef, that the best, um, the best experience uh, uh, you know, uh, when you go to eat out is actually to eat at someone's house. Um, so I said, well, I'm going to invite the guests to my house. Um, so um, this is what, what, the, what, what the loft has become. Um, it was an interesting project uh, out of the, you know, completely um, different at the time. I mean, the economy uh, in London and, and around the world was, was you know, everything was crashing and, the, and um, restaurants were closing and people wanted to have something different. And uh, when I opened this, um, I found uh, how amazing it was to get to know my, my guests. It gave me a chance to um, be, rather than, rather than be the, the, the restaurateur, uh, you know, who goes to greet the tables, I mean, uh, the guests were in my house, they were hanging out with me, like I was getting to know them, I was getting, we were getting familiar with each other, and I was starting to understand what they want, how they're like, um, developing friendships, uh, um, relationships. Uh, I think uh, this is a, a huge step forward uh, for me. Um, also, uh, a funny thing to say is that the, my restaurant now, Viajante, I mean, we, we've been, you know, we've been open for a year. I mean, we've been fairly successful. I mean, we received the Michelin star, which is, which is a great um, accolade to have. Um, but um, it also, the whole project was based around a small project. So uh, we, have, we have a restaurant which is, you know, uh, you know, there's a huge investment behind it. And then um, uh, the whole concept was, was made around uh, uh, the loft, which is my house. So, like, how can I make a restaurant that is going to be, um, unique and have the feeling of, of being in someone's home. How can we have a service, uh, the whole structure of the place um, as, as a, that, that welcomes you rather than uh, into a restaurant but into my home, my home but in a commercial, in a commercial uh, uh, space. And this is, um, this is what Viajante has become. I mean, I think it's, uh, we're becoming known for, for uh, doing something quite different in London. We're being recognized uh, for, for the food, for the service, for the style of uh, um, uh, for the style of the, the blind menus that we have, the tasting menu that we offer, um, and, the, and the, the thinking outside of the box. I mean, people are looking at us. Uh, this, is our, this is our restaurant. I mean, as you see, I mean, it's an open kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is actually in the dining room. Um, and when we all um, interact with everyone uh, while we're there, you know, while the guests come in. Sorry, I'm struggling a bit. Um, uh, we, um, the loft, um, I think another thing that I've always tried to do, um, and, and I, I think um, going back to, to my idea of the studio in my garage, I was able to um, now create the Chef's Gallery, which is, of all the projects that I've been involved in, I think this is the most exciting one that we, that, that to date. Uh, uh, while the restaurant is, is incredibly exciting, having a concept um, uh, where guests from all over the world come in, um, chefs from all over the world come in and, uh, and showcase their work um, in a home, um, cooking for 16 strangers around the table, um, it's, it's quite unique and it's, it's now um, uh, quite interesting uh, and, and, and uh, it's uh, getting a lot of, a lot of attention. Uh, it's funny because it started as, as a home and uh, we've, had, uh, we've had journalists review it. I mean, uh, you know, we have journalists coming to our house to showcase, uh, to, to see what we're doing and, uh, and, um, and to see uh, all, these all, all these amazing talents that we have around. Um, I think uh, it's, we, we've always tried to do something different. We've always tried, uh, and I've always tried to, uh, to push myself and to, to see if I can accomplish uh, something different. Uh, I mean, I put myself in challenges, like uh, coming here, for instance. It's something I usually, uh, when, when, I, when I host events, uh, when I do events, I usually have a pen in my hand or, or a knife. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I have <laughs> my hands and, uh, you know, a couple of pictures. Um, which is which is quite interesting, uh, but um, but it makes me grow and it, it gives me this disruption, the putting myself out of a comfort zone, and bring myself into a situation where I have to um, um, push myself further. It uh, it helps me to grow, and hopefully this will be inspiring to everyone. Thank you.